to solve the country to solve the country. <laughs> 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 uh, he pitches on big games. Yeah, uh, he gave us a scare. Um, but you know how football is, it's 90 minutes. We, we played well in the first half, to be honest. After 10, 15 minutes, we, we settled and we were able to pass the ball and play our brand of football. And we had to be patient because if you're gonna be emotional with a, with a score line of 1-0, then you're losing the plot. And then we kept passing the ball. Um, and Shishi came up and uh, Sereno came up and AJ was marshalling the midfield, releasing Kekana a little bit. And then we could play our, our brand of football. But yes, we were impatient and uh, we didn't look like scoring, to be honest. And they were the ones who were threatening, to be honest. But um, we have the experience for this game. As I told the boys at half time, I said, uh, if we going to change the way we are playing, we've got no chance to score. And we kept playing our normal game. And um, yeah, Mauricio came in with two goals. That's why we brought him here. The South Americans came to the party. That's why they're here. Uh, Gaston, when he's on the pitch, it's a bit difficult, different for us. And she, she, they can they can dance a little bit on the ball and and play between the lines. And when we play between the lines, interplay, interpassing. Arisbeck could not deal with that. But to be honest, they also passed a little bit the ball, the ball and I was surprised. They really, really played a little bit. I never thought they can play. So they can play if they want to play. You know? And uh, I want to also uh, congratulate Eric because every time we play against Arisbeck, he plays five people at the back. He shot me tonight, he played four. And then he scored first. You know, so it means uh, if people attack us, it means you can score against us. But if you sit back and you allow Andile and Kekana on the ball, then we control the game, then we, we play the song, then you have to, to look for Nshishi and Serino, and they're always popping up in half spaces. And then we can go with Langa and Tapelo on the side if you, if, if you come inside, because we, we, we overload the midfield with five people. Sereno, Tembazwane, Young Kulisi, and Antili, and Kekana. So then if you allow us to play in between the spaces, then we will have a problem. But if you can't in, we have to go out with uh, Nanga and Tapelo. But that's the way we play. And everybody knows it, but you can't stop it. Yeah, we made a big mistake, Musa made a big mistake, but he corrected it, recovered, you know. Julius is playing his style of football and he's powerful that boy and he can jump. You know, he's, he's, he's a kind of a player for that kind of a game. And I'm not surprised that uh, he scored all the goals against uh, uh, in the semi-finals. <laughs> <laughs> and he scored again. Today, tonight he scored again. I don't want to mention the other people. I don't know. <laughs> The semi-final. <laughs> so, so Judas pounced. Yeah, but uh, we, we, if we, I knew if you guys would win it, we have experience. We slow the ball down after two one. We just slowed it down and keep it slowly with the passing and not really going forward, just passing around. You know, possession for possession. We have experience from Champions League. We know how to play this. You're not gonna go there, open up, and then make uh, make it open. The journalist Quena asked me. He says, "Coach, uh, do you think in the 92nd minute, do you think they scored?" I said, "Who cares?" Okay. I said, uh, "If we benefit, it's about time. In this in this PSL league, people benefit, and I'm happy to go three more games." If he's not offside, I don't care. Because I'm waiting to benefit also. Three more people have benefited in series. Five games in a row. 
So I want to go also, and I'm not ashamed of that, it's true, because it's a different kind of a game, you know. But anyway, Mauricio came again, he's powerful, you can see. I mean, Ofori is not a short goalkeeper, but you know, he's, he's a big boy. Once he comes up, he gives us a different variety, I've been looking for that. He's that kind of a player, what you see is what you get, he's, he's not going to be flashy. We need him for Champions League because games are like this. And we cannot buy a player who's the same as Serino, Tempazuani, and Kulisi. We need just a variety. And he provided us with that. But it was not easy, to be honest. I really give, want to give uh, credit to Marisbeck. They can play. So that's it. And then uh, we leave the trophy. We have experience. OK, I'll take a question first from local media. Local media, uh, who hasn't asked a question yet? Okay, Tahir, I guess you'll be the rep. Um, coach Tahir for SABC Sport. I know you talk about these benefits, coach, but does it not leave you with a little bit of a bitter taste in, in, in the mouth the way you guys kind of wanted to the end? Obviously, a bitter said, taste? A little bit of a bitter taste, yes. Why? Because it was a benefit, obviously, a legitimate goal that wasn't given. Okay, have you asked the questions to the others who benefit? I'm just asking, you want a title with it? No, the same cold nerves. Don't worry about me. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. Okay. Uh, was it offside? Uh, no. It was not. Are you sure? No. Okay, if it is, you're going to write a story, you're going to write in your article that I made a mistake, ne? You must apologize if it is. Okay, traveling media. BBK. BBK Sunday Times. Congratulations on trophy number 97 years at Sundowns. Thank you, BBK. God bless. You've spoken about the South Americans. I wanted to speak about that, but let's just move away from it. It's been a great week. For two players in particular, it's Sundowns. Yeah. Two youngsters in the Kulisi and Mahalo. Yeah. This is a team in transition as well. People are getting long in the two. Seeing them playing the way that they played against Stellenbosch, rewarding themselves with goals, and the way that they played in the final, it's their first final in professional ranks. What does it say to Pito about the young Pito and his uh, company? It's, um I've said it earlier, I thought maybe I've delayed his, uh, uh, his career a little bit because I'm a, yeah, the young bit, so because I'm a very conservative coach. I, I don't want to kill them. So I think we must build him up slowly. But he's just saying to me, we are wasting my time, let me play. You know, I said, okay, go for the final, go for the starting lineup in the cup final. And he played well, he's, he's very good on the ball. You know, and, um, I was a little bit unhappy when Black Leopards let him go. I loaned him to Black Leopards and they, don't know, they, they, they let him go, he's not very good. Same with the uh, uh, Galezo, I gave him to Maurice Beck. Halfway in the season, Eric said he's not the kind of player for me. You know, but I respect his opinion. But they make mistakes because they don't watch the NDC games. Pizzo was the top goal scorer in NDC for us the year before. Kelezo was a top goal scorer also last year in the NDC. They don't know them, you know. But these players now play in Champions League eh? in Casablanca. They play, so it's always good for NDC boys to come up. We had uh, Madisha from NDC, we had Pesci from NDC uh, playing there. But um, yeah, now we've got two more, which is which is good. So there's one young one. It's also in the MTC. Where's the hotel? You must look at him. Next year, we'll give him also the opportunity uh, to come. We can't be going the same way as Mamri and Sanda has been busy buying players and buy, buying players. We, we have also a responsibility for the younger ones. We only bought two, uh, two players at the uh, And it doesn't look good when Sanda has buy two players. But, uh, we are okay in the, in the cup, in the Champions League. We are okay with the Nebel Cup. Yes, I'm telling Yes, we failed with the NTN 
eight cup in the semi final um, with super sport and it's called an away goal. I thought we, we should be okay. But um, yeah, you can't have it. You can't have the cake and eat it. It's good for the youngsters. Um, we have also a lot of senior players who are a little bit over the age, trying to find somebody who can replace Kakana. Where are you going to find a player to replace Kakana? But you can see he's slowing down, but he's got a heart, eh? and he knows how to pass the ball. When him and Antiga are on song, we can play football. Okay, I'll take uh, Robin. Coach Pizzo, just talking about Andile, it seems like he's getting his group back. Uh, you know, it's Andile, you know, I remember you, you gave me a call out, I mean, the initial team call out, but he's someone now who's been playing the fake because when he came last season, he couldn't see this, but now he's busting. Yeah, but he was not in a good condition physically, let's be honest. He shed weight, I think he shed about five or six, and he's looking after his diet. You must see him in training in the mornings, he's not eating anything that other people are eating. He knows, he's, he's a big boy, man. he's a big boy. He knows where he belongs, this guy played overseas. This guy has won the, I think it's a double trouble with the runner partners, eh? So, I mean, really, uh, uh, he knows his story and uh, he changed his mind, he changed everything and he decided to play football. So, he's playing football, we helped him a lot. I was very close to him, we went through a lot. But uh, I know we got Andy Vijay and uh, and he struggled also a little bit to understand the culture at Manuluri Sundowns because we have a, a very quiet dressing room. We don't want to flesh it. Dressing room in Sundowns. You know, Mabunda, Kekana, Tapelo, Pizzo, I mean, Serino, Musa, Matisha, Tamlanga, Anele. Those people are, the dressing room is too quiet. And that's what helps us. You know, so he came in and then uh, yeah, he, he finally got it. Dennis, he never had issues about it. And those are the when Alan said, those are the people who have been carrying us for for all these years. And sometimes we don't understand that that dressing room is quiet. We don't want it to be too noisy. Let's focus on winning cups, not on Instagram or fashion. Or we need to play football, we are football players and the career is very short, they must make money and focus and, and change the lives of their families like Zoom, Kick and Dolly, Pesitao, millions and millions of euros so that the, the culture, the claim of the towns can never ask about school fees again. It must be generation to generation. You know, people talk about old money, we need to build that. And you know, you and I, we come from humble beginnings, we don't have that old money. Somebody to generate it and, and throw football, why not? So the boys are good, Pesis was quiet, Zungu was quiet. Kigel though, never hear stories about it. And it's important for us to have those kind of players that uh, are, are quiet. We have made mistakes before with the loud ones, but we get rid of them quickly. They don't stay inside us, they're out. Uh, Verile, I think we'll take two questions now and then we'll wrap it up. Verile, you have the second last question. Okay. Uh, yes. Coach, Coach Verile from the CBC, this is your first knockout trophy, I think in uh, four years, the last time it was here, same competition. That'll be too long, eh? Yes, yes, yes. But what does, what does this mean? We live in a country where um, football supporters, they expect you, especially Sundowns, to lift every cup competition you participate in. What does it mean to achieve this now in terms of your objectives um, for the season? You are the reigning um, APSA Premiership Champions and also you have a crazy program. Um, I'm sure you will not be enjoying your Christmas here at home yeah, um, really? with, with, your, with your team. So achieving this in the back of this hectic program, what does it mean in terms of objectives for the season? I, I only have to give credit to to, to the boys, because, because they are the ones who are playing. They are the ones who are living this life of three games in, in six, seven days. Yeah? We, we are playing against well-rested teams. When we played Stellenbosch, I think they had 15 days they didn't play. They waited for us and we are coming from Casa. We landed on Monday. On Wednesday we had to play. There's no excuse. 
But why should we make excuses at Sundowns when we have the players to, to do the job? You can't compliment us for that. We have the boys to play. So we made nine changes to Stellenbosch tonight. We made eight changes to the team of Stellenbosch. They scored three goals against Stellenbosch. You know, when we played Eros in the semi final of the Telecom, I think we made about six changes to the game that lost to Eros 3 uh, 2. So we have to, because these boys are not supermen and we are traveling. And I take them all with me, even when I go to Champions League, because they have to train. That team that was in Casa is not the team that played on Wednesday. So I was training the other team that played against Stellenbosch. And it's not easy. You don't see these things. You think it's easy, it's not easy. Ask Hanti. Look at Hanti. He went to Mali. Okay, got low by the beat. He understand the, that space of Kev. But when he came back against Eros, they played it. So South African teams can do it. Trust me. Fils can win the, the Confederation Cup. Eric went to the finals with Super Sport United. It's a, just a little bit of a different program that you do, you know, and you can't play every 10 days. No? You, you have to play. There's no excuse. You must play. And it doesn't mean the link is loading us or overloading. If we don't play this game of, of Stellar Motion, when are we going to play it? If you see our program in, in January, we're in trouble. You know, that's why I allow even families to come inside the beach. I want families, I want children, they're everywhere. Even in training, they're everywhere. Because I'm trying to make sure that they are part of the family. Because I'm, I'm, I'm buying them. <laughs> because on the 23rd, we are going away. 27th, we are on the beach. Where's the Christmas? Oh, let them come in, they're funny. What am I going to do? But it is their lives that decided to play for Mamelodi Sundowns and when you play for Sundowns, you can never be a world rested player and you play every seven, ten days. I mean really. If if we have five if we get ten days in the in the FIFA week, you know what we do really? We take seven days off. Because we don't like to train. What are we training? To make them fit for what? They're fit. They can they have to finish the season. The team played against Ellen Bosch. Stellan Bosch never played, I think, for eight or ten days. And they waited for us. I played the other team. And the other team was good. So it means we, we are now getting confidence with the, the team that played against Stellan Bosch. And it was the same team that defeated Amazulu before we played the Angolans. You take a risk, and it, sometimes it backfires on me. But when it works out, you feel good. Okay, one last question, and I guess it will go to the local media. In your hands? Okay, you have the last question. Uh, Coach Pizzo, Tabe Mbaba from uh, W News Radio. Uh, I guess there's no uh, better love story than uh, Pizzo Musman and Kizren. You won your first trophy here in Kizren in Durban. I remember you once uh, lifted a supremacy title away at Terry Wall Stadium. Once again, you won in 2015. Um, what is it that like really gives you the like when it, the luck rather whenever you get kids and then um, another question uh, on uh, just one question oh okay thank you yeah. all right <laughs> <laughs> the okay. coach the okay. coach gives you extra time yeah. coach on uh, on thursday building up to the final you called on the club uh, to offer you a new contract you're ready to sign now that you've won a trophy, it gives you more bargaining power to negotiate or something? <laughs> Maybe you should have allowed that question. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> I, I, yeah. It came back to bite me. <laughs> yeah, the kingdom, the Zulu kingdom is, is a blessing to me. Né? Beautiful. You come here and we've got a big support of Sundowns in, in KZN. If it was easy, sometimes we would bring other Champions League games here because we have a very, very big support here and, and, and they love us. And I think uh, luck also for me to be here, so luck to make sure that there is my bit there if I'm in the final. Um, yeah, the contract. I think I've said it before. I'm 
want to stay in it. I want to stay. I'm here. So, at the moment, there's no agreement at this point in time. But I hope we are finding an agreement. But uh, what I know, Sundowns wants me to stay. And what I know, I want to stay. So we need to agree on staying. It's the very first time I am in this position. I've never been in this position before. I've, I've been here for seven years. I've had two contracts. And there was never an issue. And I've always signed them any time, any day. And I don't think you've heard uh, before of me not stalling the contract or whatever. Yeah, but uh, I'm 55, I want to go at 60. This is too stressful. I can't be having this stress all the time. So it's my last contract. And uh, I think it might be worth it that probably the last contract, you know? So I'm here, love my little sundowns, the supporters love me, they want me to stay, I want to stay. And the team has also approached me to say, Coach, we want you to stay. So we love each other, you know? So it's a matter of hugs and, and all that. So, so that's from my side. But we haven't reached an agreement. We, we were talking, but we haven't reached an agreement. So there's no rush, mm -hmm. especially when, when we all want to be together. There's no rush. Of course, you would like to sort it out as early as possible. So that if I'm not here, sometimes can continue. And also, um, uh, if I'm not here, uh, I must also continue with my life, you know? But what's in my heart, and I will always say it, and probably you'll get a shock of your life, and you won't believe it. What's in my heart is youth football. I would like to do youth football because nobody does youth football. People talk about youth football, what you need to do. Nobody does. Nobody's doing. What are we doing? I mean, look at the school football. Is there a program for schools? So that's where I want to go. That's my other passion that Sundowns has to respect also. You know, I need to leave my legacy. My legacy is not about trophies. I mean, I need to build my own legacy in terms of sustaining something so that my children could say that our father has left a legacy in, in youth football that can be sustained because I've seen Percy coming with bad habits, I've seen Zoom with bad habits, Keegan Roy with bad habits. We need to have better players too. We need five players in Serie A. We need five players in French in the League One. We need four players in, in, in English Premier League. We need that. Where, where are South Africans, guys? Why, why is Mali, Senegal, Nigeria? I was watching Capoeza, I was watching Chipoeza. For, for Villa, yeah. I mean, where are our boys in La Liga, guys? It's not possible. The last time we had Chepo, Chepo Masilena. You know, we cannot be looking at winning a telecom trophy and then we are heroes. No, we have more to do. We need, we need Bafana Bafana doing very well. We need, when we make a lineup of Bafana Bafana, it must be Spain, Spain, France, Italy, England, Holland, those five big countries in Europe, that is when we can turn it around. Otherwise, now we, we always say, hey, what? Oh, nearly. Oh, okay, congratulations, you qualify for a couple of reasons. Excuse me. It's like saying sometimes congratulations for qualifying for the group stages of Champions League. What is that? You know? So we need to take it a little bit higher, but we forget the basics. We talk about youth football. I've seen programs, I've seen presentations, I've seen lots of things, vision, what, what. There's nothing happening. <laughs> Somebody must tell you what is he doing with that vision. So that's where I want to go. The other stuff, look, I mean, I'm happy to 
you you the football, if Sundowns respect that, uh, I, I can do that also. Thank you. Okay, coach, in my other life, I do draws. And uh, of what? I thought the cup is done. <laughs> One journalist here will win something. Oh, yes. he will pick it up. They deserve it. Yeah, yeah.